Mexico on a market. ¿Tú de dónde eres? Yo soy de Eslovaquia. ¿Y cómo te llamas? Some general information first. We are going to stay in Mexico for about three months, more or less, and we will be traveling from Mexico City all the way down to Cancun. And we will cross around 12 states, and it's going to be more than 3,000 kilometers. So it's going to be super exciting because it's just going to be super diverse, and I don't know, diverse landscape, diverse food, diverse culture, and all these like historic, historical things. By the way, the capital of Mexico, Mexico City, is the second largest city on the American continent, like North America and South America included. And now try to guess which is the biggest city on the American continent. The biggest one is Sao Paulo in Brazil. Second is Mexico City. Third is uh, New York. Anyway, what we are going to visit near Mexico City is the city itself, a little bit, the center, and then we are gonna see the mariachis, you know, like these typical guys playing on a guitar on the plaza. Then we are also going to visit an archaeological site, which is near Mexico City, a museum, the oldest park in the town, the Flying Indians, that's a really cool thing, by the way. And eventually, I don't know, we just talk about some fun facts because that's the most interesting part of it. Like why is Mexico City sinking and how it was created and the rituals behind the flying Indians and yeah, I don't know, we see. This ritual is one of the oldest in Latin America. In the past, the Indians performed it on specific days, asking the gods for fertility and eternal life. It involves five men who first dance around the 25 to 30 meter high metal pole to the sound of a whistle. Then they climb to the top of the pole, where there is a square platform. Four of them wrap a rope around their ankle. Then they start to lower themselves down. Each of them makes 13 turns until they touch the ground. Then the fifth Indian stops playing the whistle and climbs down. And why 13 turns? 13 turns times 4 men equals 52. 52 represents the number of weeks in our current calendar, but also it played an important role in the Indian timekeeping. The Indians used two calendars, the solar year had 365 days, and the religious year had 260 days. They were so intertwined that every 52 solar years, the two calendars had came to a common point. 52 years was also the period of one cycle. Teotihuacan, located around 44 kilometers from Mexico City, is one of the most famous archaeological sites in Mexico. Along the 2 km long avenue of death, we find Teotihuacan's two biggest pyramids. The Pyramid of the Sun, which is also the world's third largest pyramid, and the Pyramid of the Moon, which is the second largest pyramid in Teotihuacan. When we are talking about pyramids in Mexico, we have to mention that they did not function as tombs, like in Egypt, for example. Pyramids in Mexico were temples. Esto es lo que se come.
Now in the afternoon we are going to visit the town and probably the Chinese quarter as well and maybe uh, just the nightlife outside the city, you know? But before we go out to the town there is one thing I want to talk about because Mexico City has a very interesting story. In the past the whole city was built on a lake and the legend says that in the pre-Columbian times the Aztecs this pre-Columbian civilization they were walking down from north to the south and one of them had a dream that they have to settle and create a town on a spot where they will see an eagle you know this bird sitting on a cactus and eating or holding a snake this symbol is found on the mexican flag until today and they saw this by the lake of texcoco so and as the aztec civilization was wandering from the north down to the south they saw an eagle sitting on a cactus and holding a snake by the lake of Texcoco. Eventually they settled and they decided to create a town. And the spot of that lake is the area of today's Mexico City. The town was called Tenochtitlan and it looked similar to Venice in Italy. There were channels and people went around on boats. The end of the story is that they managed to create this huge, very important city. And in those times, it was one of the largest and most important cities on the entire planet. Then later, when the Spanish came to conquer Mexico, they buried the lake. Anyway, this is how we are getting to one of the biggest problems of uh, Mexico City nowadays. Since Mexico City was built on a lake, the ground and the land is very unstable and soft. So it's constantly sinking. And in certain parts of Mexico City, this is very visible, especially on the Basilica. So many buildings are kind of leaned and uh, on many places the walls are cracked. This is the old basilica of Guadalupe. They started building it towards the end of the 17th century but since the basilica became dangerous because its foundations were sinking a modern structure called the new basilica was built next to it and the old basilica the one you see on the video was closed for many years and they tried to repair it and now it's open to the public again. If you have a free evening in Mexico City, one of the fun options to do is the Chinatown. It's located right by the oldest park in the city, Alameda, near the historical center. The Chinatown was created in the 60s and until today, around 3000 families live here. Chinese restaurants and street food, Chinese lanterns, groceries, and it is estimated that the first Asian immigrants came to Mexico from the Philippines. Chinatown tasting. Chinatown tasting. <laughs> <laughs>